Hey guys, today I'm designing a music poster for the Vancouver International Jazz Festival. This was a really fun class assignment and I'm excited to show you my process. After getting some inspiration, I played around with different images and symbols that could represent jazz and honestly, I just threw down different ideas from my head. I ended up going with the design of musicians playing on this magic-like staircase made from piano tiles, which I then imported to Illustrator to vectorize and make outlines. A tip I got from my professor was that when vectorizing a sketch, it's really useful to set the top layer to multiply. This makes it really easy to trace and it's easier for the lines and shapes you want to trace to be visible below, while making the white areas of the sketch less distracting. I forgot to do this in the assignment so you can watch me struggle to create the outline. And now it was finally time to add the colors ingredient. With the color palette I wanted it to feel playful, dreamy, fun. I played around with different color tones but I went in a more warm direction. And since it was playful and dreamy, why not add sunshine? I colored the figures and the piano tiles and the poster was starting to look pretty good. I just had to tweak a few adjustments, especially on the black keys, and we were getting somewhere. I then moved on to typography, and I actually struggled with this a lot. I cut out a lot of editing around with the type, and I don't even think I went with brush strokes. I then had this idea to add the spotlight to the poster, which kind of created this contrast between the musicians and type and I actually liked how it turned out. It was starting to look really retro, which was exactly what I was going for. I played a little bit more around with the typography and switched the position of the figures. Here you can see it takes a huge jump because I actually forgot to record the footage, but I made everything more vibrant and gave the whole poster a nice shiny feel. The spotlight ended up being way more prominent in the design, which I didn't expect, but I was happy I added it. I also added some shadows so that the figures would feel more alive. Also, a quick little trick that I learned from a friend, if you go down from view and click trim view, it will clip the entire artboard so you don't see any elements around it. And that's pretty much it guys. I did add a little bit of noise and texture on the entire poster at the end. Then I printed it out at my school and it turned out really well. Thank you guys so much for watching and with school over for the summer, stay tuned for some quality content real soon. Peace.